Hello everyone and welcome to the Ghost Lairs Report. I'm of course Ryan here in Tokyo, Japan. Okay, so a little known thing has happened uh, that kind of was put right under the nose of a lot of people who are will be seriously affected by this. Uh, it's got a little bit of attention around the internet and among um, underground groups in Japan, especially um, otaku, who are sadly often labeled as outcasts in society and potential criminals, which both are not really true if you spend any time with those type of people. But it appears that Japan has very well may have made YouTube illegal in Japan. Um, come October, uh, this new law is going to go into effect. Uh, there's been some changes to the copyright laws here in Japan. Now, I've kept this kind of under, under, my, under my tongue a bit because of other things going on right now. But we're going to take a moment to at least bring this out to people. Um, now, there's, uh, here's the changes to the law. Let me make this point first. Uh, the ripping and copying of copy protected material and encoded material like DVDs and games is no longer considered for personal use and is punishable. Second change, the sale of software and hardware that circumvents copy protection and access protections is forbidden. And the third one, which is the most interesting, the international download of illegally uploaded material is now punishable. So um, in America and other Western countries where you have the uh, fair use uh, idea of copyright, which if you're using it for um, news purposes, sharing of information purposes, things like that, that is no longer going to work in Japan come October. Uh, also, let's say, for example, um, there's a lot of popular videos on YouTube in which um, people record themselves playing a video game. Uh, that would fall under typically uh, personal use or fair use because you're not actually changing the material. You're only um, or changing it in a creative manner. You're only expressing the way you use it, which is personal use. Uh, now, the thing that's going to make uh, potentially YouTube illegal is this international downloading of illegal uploaded material. Okay, so let's get into that. Now, let's say, for example, if I... Um, I had a clip from a news show or I had a clip from um, some top copyrighted material, say a movie or something. And I want to use that to um, express myself a little bit, not without changing the material at all. Just using that to point this out about it. Um, that was no longer going to work in Japan. So here on YouTube, um, a lot of videos do that. People do that all the time here. And that becomes illegal to do in Japan. And if you, and the way YouTube works and the way the internet works, when you watch a video, on a lot of social uh, network sites or social sharing sites, uh, the video is temporarily downloaded to your computer through your browser, so it can uh, load. <laughs> it can load so you can watch the video. That's going to be illegal come October in Japan. So, yeah, YouTube could very potentially become illegal in, in this country. Um, that's going to have a horrible effect on, on Japan. Uh, this country is, all, is already semi-isolated from the world, and this will not help the situation. It will only make it worse. So, mm, this is really, really amazing to me. This was slipped right under the nose of pretty much everyone. Now, the punishment for this will be punishable for a, a prison sentence of, le of no less than two years, and or a fine up to... Um, about 25,106 US dollars. It's really a hefty fine. Now, um, when did this go through? Now, the House representatives quickly passed the revision with virtually no coverage and almost n no public announcement. There was a small public announcement about this. Um, all second, the revision was rushed through and passed without counsel or decision in the Japanese diet. Now, members of the Ministry of Education who could possibly place a vote against the revision, had been switched out in, in the recent shuffling of the government. So there was no opposition in place to this. Um, 
Now, in the public, like we said, the only group that's aware of this and has been reporting on this and bringing it out is the otaku group here in Japan. They're a kind of a subculture. And, like I said, they're social outcasts and treated as potential criminals, which, like I said before, they're not. Okay? So, that's what's going on here. Now, this is potentially deadly, a death kill for getting information out here about Japan. It could uh, possibly affect people like me. Uh, and many other independent journalists trying to get news out here in Japan. So um, I'll make this video really quick. I just wanted to get this information out to everyone. Please spread this video around and please get a discussion about this going on in the um, comment section below uh, here here on this, this channel. Uh, please, uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel, show some support. Let's get news out about Japan, okay? Let's get the truth out because the media, they're not doing it. All right, they're not even trying, okay? So we got to break that media block, a blackout as best we can, okay? And this would make the media blackout a legal thing, okay? So let me know what you think about this. Make your own videos about this. And let's keep this going, okay? So until next time, this is me, Ryan, right here in Tokyo, Japan, checking out.